One of Roy's folks spends a lot of time behind the barber's chair and the pulpit. In fact, this year he'll celebrate more than 50 years of cutting hair in his barber shop, and he doesn't plan to slow down. I paid a visit with the preaching barber. It's another busy day in Asbury, North Carolina. So like I say, this year was a corn field where we used to raise corn and tobacco. What are you doing, Miss Sam? That's because one of this small community's favorite sons is open for business. But I've been cutting hair 53, but I've been here 50 years. I've cut his hair a few times. For more than five decades. Get old Todd to Bob. Ricky Rogers has helped folks look their best here. you will cut anywhere from 75 to 80 a week. Behind the chair at Asbury Barbershop. And I actually helped build this. Oh, yeah, wow. the, the thing about my little business is my relationship with my customers. Yeah. That we're here. God's been good to me. Cover close. He knows every customer's name because for many, he was their first barber. He was a little bitty thing when Bobby Nelly used to bring you yeah, over here. Daddy bought me. He keeps it simple. The exact same schedule every week. You got one chair, one way. No appointment needed. When I'm supposed to be here at 8 o'clock, I'm here. Right. When I'm supposed to be here at 6 o'clock, I'm here. Whether you're busy or not, you got to be punctual. Keep your business. But this isn't his only job. The Holy Spirit had not yet been poured out. He helps folks with yeah, a clean cut. Come a long way. Been preaching for 40 years. And finding a clean slate. <laughs> Hello here, Mr. Collins, sir. But well, how far is your church from here? 10 miles. Because my barbershop's a ministry. I've had, I do about 20 to 25 funerals a year, and this through the relationship built here in the barbershop. Okay, Mr. Anderson, sir. A calling that's very similar. Yeah, everybody's got problems. To the barber's chair. And a lot of people, Chad, just need somebody to listen to them. Listen to what's going on in their lives. Someone to listen. I'm going to run that on special day for $10. Someone to care. Hello, Mr. Bernie. Well, can you Did you want that mustache trim, Tom? Huh? No. Something Ricky shares with everyone <laughs> before they leave. Take care. They can't love you. In Stokes take County. Care. Looking for Roy's folks. When a man comes and gets a haircut, I hope he gets more than a haircut. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. Bill Moe said, I come to get a haircut, but he said, I got way under more. Way under more. Rogers turned 71 yesterday and said he thought about giving one of his two ministries up when he hit 70, but said he just couldn't do it just because he loves people. And I love the fact that every person when they leave, including us when we left, he said, love you. Oh, that just a is great guy. Just yes. a great guy. Yes. We need more of that where people love people. Exactly, yes. exactly. And he's very proud to be from that community. A really good, strong community there. And he considers both a form of ministry. Oh, yes, okay. absolutely. Behind the chair and behind the pulpit. Love that. Good mm -hmm. for him. Congratulations. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. Decades in both there you fields. Go. That's yep. great.